And then you say, mask, mask. Um, whenever you guys are ready, your, your microphone's turned on, right? Hello and welcome to the 2021 New Jersey High School Film Challenge Screening and Award Show. I'm Ethan Noble. And I'm Harry Perron. And we are super, super, super excited to be able to have such an amazing event this year despite all of the craziness. Listen, we hope you enjoyed today's workshops and learned a little something new. You know, it was really fun sitting there in the workshops because we had all the workshops going on one computer screen at the same time, so I'm kind of tagging between them, and it was just great to see all the kids together, asking questions, learning all the odd new stuff, and just, you know, seeing people talk shop again, it's been a while since that's happened, I think. Absolutely, it's, uh, it, was, it was so good to see uh, even some of our guest lecturers back again for another year, so. For sure. So um, we know this year has been tough for all of you, especially for people who are, that are heavily involved in the arts like we are. I know Mr. Frone and I went through quite a bit uh, in the beginning, trying to figure out what technology students are going to use if they were working from home, what software we could use because uh, software packages change on a regular basis. So we got to use a lot of cell phones um, and a lot of uh, applications on the phone for editing. I'm kind of shifting with everything, but at the end of the day, I think we learned a lot of stuff that uh, hopefully you guys did as well that will help us in the future. And hey, listen, so for all you folks that stayed busy, we want to thank you for staying involved, participating, and uh, for many of you for entering into our annual contest. So this year's prompt was connected. Um, we found it appropriate because so many of you had to find a way to stay connected, uh, whether you're working from home or you're working from school, six feet apart from everyone else. Um, it was tough to stay connected in your homes and communities. For sure. Uh, we've reviewed all of the entries and we'll be showing you our top 20 or so picks with no interruption and in no particular order. Um, so once all the videos have completed, uh, we're going to go ahead and announce this year's award winners. So uh, just in case you missed it, in our email that we had sent out earlier has a link to a Google Meet link. And what you do is if you uh, get that ready to go, and if your name is announced as an award winner, what you're going to do is you're going to go to that link. You're going to have about 30 seconds as we're showing a clip from your film. You have about 30 seconds to click on that link. Our producer will verify you're one of the winners and they'll allow you into the link. Uh, and then you could say a few words about, you know, thanking people or a little bit of the challenges you face when producing your film. Um, if you don't have the link in the email, you can go to highschoolfilmchallenge.com and then under the event 2021 info tab, 
uh, there is a link to the meet on there as well. So just be ready. Don't join unless we announce your name as a winner, but be ready to do so. There you go. Good information. So sit back, relax, and watch this year's batch of films. We'll see you in just a bit. Three, two, zero. Liftoff of the Atlas V. Launching the first interplanetary mission from the West Coast. And NASA's InSight, the first outer space explorer to study the interior of Mars. Connection established. Lexi, so, um, yeah, not lying. Hey, Erica, this counts as meeting, right? <laughs> the rocket is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. I'm good. How's school going for you? Uh, it's as good as school can go, I guess. Any boys think they're cute? Uh, well, there is this one boy. Wait, you're breaking up. <sighs> Dang it. So, yeah! Wait, you're frozen. Yep. The internet's out. Think, Eric, there's be something you can do for the internet. at my house but if I'm being honest it was awesome at first I was bored out of my mind but I ended up having a really fun afternoon okay anyway what I was
was trying to tell you is that there is this guy, right? His name's Devin. I like really like him, right? I gave him the code name Pickles. Yeah. Pickles is like really nice and stuff. You know, but we don't have to talk about him right now. Really? Yeah, we could just like watch Netflix or play video games or something. You know, I realized today that we're always um, staring at screens. I felt so much more connected without the internet connection than I've ever felt before. Do you maybe want to take a break? We could go to the park or something. Really, Erica? Yeah. Okay, I'll give this whole no internet thing a try. Great, maybe you at the park in 10. Erica, can you just shut that off? It's literally the same thing that happened to Grandma. They can't find out who did it either. Okay, just, just shut it off. I'm just trying to move in here with a fresh start. I can't constantly have her on my mind all the time. Alright, whatever. Look what I found. Isn't this grandma? Erica, get out of my room! I was just asking a question about our grandmother. What is your issue? Just because she's gone doesn't mean we have to forget her. Look, I'm sorry. Yeah, that is grandma. Now, can you just leave my room? Last seen with five foot four male, long brown hair, green eyes, and glasses. Keep your damn mouth shut, you hear me? been so long. It's hard to remember his face. Too bad I don't have a picture of him. <phone rings> Speaking of him, hello? Hey Steve, how you been? Hi Brian, I'm doing alright. I really miss you at school. Same here. Since I've been online, it feels like I don't see you much anymore. You missed one of the craziest days of school yesterday. Oh really? What happened? Well, 
Erica had a really bad day. First, her boyfriend broke up with her. What did you want to see me for, Jake? I have to tell you something. What is it? I can't. I can't be with you anymore. My job, it's too important. State Farm is my everything, and you can't be a part of that everything anymore. I don't love you anymore. Goodbye. Well, that stinks. Erica and Jake seem perfect for each other. I know, right? Then Erica fell while going to lunch. Wow. Sounds like a bad day. Then she went to get her food. I had a really rough day. I could use some chicken nuggets. That would be five dollars. But she didn't have enough money. I have enough money to buy chicken nuggets. <laughs> Apparently the worker at the doing? diner went on a log in her dialogue afterwards. At Philly's Burgers, making a name for myself in the burger industry, not pursuing my real passion. Seems really strange. Anything else happen? No, that was pretty much it. Actually, now that I think about it, yesterday wasn't all that interesting. It was just a very bad day for Erica. School isn't as interesting without you. I know. Maybe we can hang out sometime soon. You know, I was I was thinking. Hold on, I, I'm I'm losing you. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello? It just isn't the same. Donuts left. That sounds like a you problem. Well, you said you had a few, right? Yeah, a few. I didn't eat the whole entire box. Well, if you look, there's none left, and you're the last one to have them. Well, it wasn't me. Why you gotta like, accuse me of this? You're, every time, every year we get these, you're the one who always takes most. Listen, the Christmas party, you had the entire cake before the actual service, the so I don't want to hear nothing. No, no, no. You know what? Stop accusing me. Go ask Troy. You want to go ask Troy? I'll go, go ask Troy. I'll go ask Troy. Hey, Troy, did you take the last donut? No! Well, it wasn't Troy. Well, it wasn't me, so get off my case. Alright? No, whatever, man. What is this? Oh, you put photos in there. Yeah, well, there's a white thumbprint on it. That's not mine. Really? Because over here, white powder, white powder, you had the last donuts? I didn't have the last donuts. I said that already. Doesn't it say something about Fisher Hands up on the office of Rogers? I don't know. Let's go check. Wait a minute. Eric? Eric? Dear future Erica, this is the first day of lockdown. 
It's hard to know what will be happening day to day and much less than a year from now. I can't tell you what to look out for, but I hope whenever you're reading this again, a year from now, that even if the world hasn't changed, I hope you have. It hasn't been easy, and to save you the grief of reliving this past year, I won't go into detail. I just hope that for your sake, you've grown and made the connections you need to. With love and hope, 2020 Erica. This past year has given me the opportunity to see the world differently and make connections with different people. I have even connected with myself more and feel more intact with my emotions. Now I feel at peace and I'm ready to burn the bridges of the past. It has been a rough year, but goodbye old Erica, hello new Erica. We can't keep doing this. What are we going to do when you get to college, Mr. Summers? I'm not asking you. I need you to do this for me. Okay. I'll take care of it. I know you will. Martin! Martin! Don't call me that. Only my friends call me that. I caught you. I caught you. What? What do you mean, what? You're a fraud. You're full of it. You're not even a straight-A student. You're just jealous. You don't know anything. I suggest you walk away from this. I know about Amelia. What did you say? I know about Amelia. How do you know about her? How do you know about that? Freshman year, I saw him in a park an hour away from here. He was with a different girl. He knew I knew. My grades were slipping. I needed leverage. You mean blackmail? You can't tell anyone. I will lose my scholarship, my college. He will lose his job. Pute, you can't tell anyone. Only my friends call me that. I want you all to leave knowing this. If you take anything from this speech, I hope it will be that we have all gotten to where we are in this very moment because of thousands of little choices that we've made. And as well as going out to face the world and make thousands of more decisions, keep in mind this, connections are not what get you places. It's your hard work and dedication that leads you to lifelong success.
know I need to talk to you about something. Okay, how about what? Well, you know we go off to college in a few months. I just don't think we're gonna have time for each other. I really don't think it's gonna work out. Oh, um, yeah, well, I was thinking the same thing too. Actually? Yeah. Well, I guess this is it. I mean, I'll still keep in contact with you and everything, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. deleted his number right hold up you need to delete him <laughs> yeah right now out of your life right yeah. now it's the healing process and you're so much better without him like look at yourself right now it's been done yes finally okay. thank you girl let's eat <laughs> Buddy, son, it's been hard without you. Every time I come here, it's it's like I'm meeting you again for the first time. Hey, hey. I've been waiting for you. <sighs> we won so many matches late at night together. Yes, yes, we got it. Eric, nice carry team. I am. I'm, I'm Grind until 1 a.m. Playing comp with the boys. I couldn't have been as good as I was without you. And then, then, then everything went so wrong. You're just doing bad. Shut, shut up, dude! Oh my god! Shut up, dude! You're bottom of the team. What do you want me to say? You're just doing that. You're just bad. He's right in front of you. Oh, you come on! He's here, right, man? Eric. Eric, Eric, you have him right there, right there. Stop lagging. Stop lagging. Oh my god. Dude, don't, don't keep playing with your Wi Fi. I know oh. that you're just bad, okay? Dude, okay, okay, just right here. Tap bar. Tap bar. You literally had five seconds to kill him. insane. Oh, you. Dude, how was your day? My day? Well, let's see. I woke up at 7.45. Must have slept through my other alarms. I had to brush my teeth, but there was no toothpaste. 
I got my shoes, shirt, bag. Eight o'clock, I'm starting to run late. Got my car, but it wouldn't start. Come on! Eight ten, I ran to school. Eric, come here. Yeah? I know you cheated on this test. What do you, what do you mean? This is serious. Just go to the office. Hey, I heard you cheated on me. What are you talking about? I cheated on the test. Tess, who's Tess? Is that Tess right there calling you? One second. Talk to me. You know what? This relationship is over. I already told you the test I cheated on. Hello? Hi, is this Eric Erickson? Uh, yeah. Your friend has collapsed and is in the hospital due to pancreatic cancer. Would you be able to... Hello? Uh, the connection's getting hazy. Can you speak up? Hello? 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 You'll get him. Hello? I had to go to the hospital. My friend was dying. I finally got out of the school. Hey, 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 hey. My friend's just in the hospital. Can you please give me right there? Uh, nah, bro. I, please, dude. I gotta go home and sleep. I'm sorry. My friend, she's in the hospital. Can you please give me a ride? Yeah. It's urgent. What? Yeah. Please! I had to run to the hospital. Cheat on her? Well, yeah, wouldn't you do the same? You know what, man? You're sick. I don't want to be your friend. I never want to see you again. So you will write back? Oh, uh, yeah, actually. How did I get here? Well, let me show you. My name is Eric, Eric Lane. This is my story on how I got killed. All I wanted was to make some extra money for college. So I hit up the most dangerous connect in the city.
Find out who did this to Eric, alright? I promise you I'm gonna find out. I don't know who did it or why, but I'm gonna find out. I promise, alright? Just be easy, alright? Just be easy. Alright? Let's get out of here before my parents wake up. <laughs> Come on, I ever steer you wrong before? Are you sure your dad's okay with this? <laughs> what he doesn't know won't hurt him. Okay. <laughs> You got into Yale? Really? You? Have some faith, man. You're the one who told me to apply. <laughs> I only said that because I thought it'd be funny. Of course you did. <laughs> Eric, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I can't. Where am I? Eric? Is that, is that you? I can't feel. Why can't I move? Hey, hey, it's gonna be all right. I, I can explain. Just let me just... Only a few months left, huh? Yeah. Have you applied anywhere yet? No, no, not yet. You gotta get on that, man. Come on. You're a smart kid. I know, but hey, don't forget about me, right? Of course. It wasn't your fault. It was. If I hadn't brought you out that night, you'd still be alive. And I forgive you. I'm sorry, Eric. It wasn't. I'm you. It's okay, you need to let me go. I'm gonna miss you. Me too. Red is the longest wavelength of visible light. It's love and war, the world's two biggest crimes. Usually it implies danger, but with her it's something else. Stealing the red Skittles from the bag because they're her favorite and me letting it slide. The pasta sauce from my favorite restaurant and the cherry on top of our sundaes. Orange lights the warmest there is. It gives the body the sensation of heat. The color not of the fire, but the flame. But to me, it's not the flame or fruit. It's the color of her favorite sweater she would always wear when we drank coffee and the cinnamon on our cupcakes after we finished baking. Green has the wavelength of 560 nanometers, fresh and pure. Like her soccer jersey when she played, or <laughs> tried to play that is, and uh, the Christmas tree we put in our first apartment. Yellow has a wavelength of 570 nanometers. It's the main source of serotonin to the brain, happiness. Could not describe her and I more. Surprise flowers, popcorn from our movie nights, or singing our hearts out in the car on trips as boring as the grocery store. 
Blue is the second shortest wavelength on the visible color spectrum. Trust and loyalty, her favorite color. The color of slushies after our AC broke in the middle of the summer, and the ink on the post notes we leave each other in the mornings. But uh, before her, my life had no color. We have to discuss your actions, along with not going to class in person or virtually. Not just that, Jax, when you dump the whole bucket of water over Miss Mimi's head. But you need to get out of here. You are nothing but trouble in this school. Are you kicking me out of the school? Well, I'm out of here. You'll never see me again. take up your word from the bus stop in order to meet a pancakes for dinner. I'm excited, but you need to get it with a milkshake. It literally goes hand in hand. Well then in that case, uh, make it two. Come meet with me. Oh, brother. Here you go. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. My life before her was in black and white, but now I could see it all. Oh, all because of some pancakes for dinner. Question for you. I mean, I mean, if you don't have a date or anything or something like that. What? Sorry, it was bad connection. Oh well, I was just gonna say I think you're um nice and cool and nice and. Help me, I'm in serious danger. What? Erica, are you okay? What do you mean? I'm freaking out because I'm gonna die. You gotta help me. Wrong. It's Erica! No time to explain! I need to take your car.
Rachel, what's wrong? Are you okay? What do you mean? Did you run here? Well, the phone. You said you were in danger. No, the Wi-Fi was breaking out. That's why I was in danger of failing the math test. Oh. This is awkward. Bad connection, I guess. Wait, so while you're here, you don't have a face of prom yet, do you? I should do. Just tell him how you truly feel, Erica. But I don't know how. It doesn't have to be complex. Just send him a text message. You know that this is going to be your last chance to tell him before he moves away. So take it. I guess you're right. Don't make any excuses. I think you're breaking up. All right, Alex, I know it's been a while since you and Erica talked, you know, after you died. But today's the only day you'll be able to talk to her. This is your moment. Who's there? I'm back. Look, I know I've been dead for a while, but you don't have to ignore me. Erica, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to die. I mean, I don't really think anyone means to die, but... Also, whoever picked my coffin should be fired because it's not what I wanted. <gasps> Hello? Hey, are you even listening to me? <laughs> just, it's just 
the wind. She's totally acting. The wind? Wonders are close. You know, I came all the way here on the only night where I could connect with your astral plane. And now you're ignoring me? Erica? Yeah. So now you can see me. I thought you were dead. Does that mean I'm dead? Looks like we both are. Tell me why. Because now it always seems so sad at the end of it. Wait, I have an idea. Let's fix all these drawings. Watch. All these drawings don't have to be so sad. I don't know how to make them happy. I'll show you how. But what if they leave us? They're not going to leave us, okay? No matter what happens, we'll always have each other. These are good. Hey, don't listen to them, okay? Let's continue drawing. I'll do everything I know. Can I please just go home? Let's go through this one more time. <sighs> okay. It started when Eric came over after school and he brought me food. He got my order wrong, but it was okay. I didn't mind. And then we kind of just watched movies and TV, just like usual. So it was just a normal day? It was just like any other day. Hmm. So what happened next? So we just watched some TV, watched some movies, and then we had some homework to do. So I worked on my homework, and he needed help with his math homework, so I helped him with that too. So you helped him with his math homework. Did you get frustrated? Maybe a little mad? No, I didn't get mad. He's my boyfriend. Of course I was going to help him. Okay, okay. What happened next? Well, then we both wanted some fresh air because we were inside all day. So you walked a while. And then he left. Did he go home? Well, we walked and then... And then what? Well, what happened? Well, then we walked back to my house and we just said our goodbyes and he went home. That was all that happened. Wait, wait, why the hesitation? What are you lying about? I'm, I'm not lying. I've told you everything I know. Miss Annette, you were the last person to see him alive. Now tell the truth. Why did you hesitate? What happened? I'm not lying. I've told you everything I know. He was my best friend. This is the last day of his life, and I have to keep reliving it every second. Can I please just go home? Okay. All right. I'm sorry to push. Go home. Get some rest. We have some other investigations to do. Uh, we'll keep you informed of any new information. Sorry for your loss. Thank you, and please do keep me updated.
Rough day, huh? Over here. What are you? Can't you tell? I'm you. What do you want? Oh, it's nothing, just... How's your brother doing? Why would you say that? We really drove him to the edge. Just pill after pill. <laughs> he must have had a blast. Oh, are you upset? But it's our fault, isn't it? No, it's not. If you only answered his phone call, you could have stopped him. I didn't know he was in pain. I did. I'm not you. Yes, you are, Eric. Don't you get it? We're the same. Shut up. I am the deepest and darkest version of yourself. Shut up. You just haven't accepted it yet. I said shut up! No matter what you want to believe, I'm a part of you and will always be. You can't run away from me. And after all, we are connected. It's been about two weeks. It still doesn't feel like this is real life. I constantly think about the memories we've made and all those fun times we had together. It feels like it was just yesterday we were making gingerbread houses in my kitchen. We always joked about how we were the best bakers out there and how we wanted to go on one of those baking competitions on TV. You definitely would have beaten me. No matter what it was, you made everything we did so much fun together. This day wasn't even planned, and I still remember every second of it. We watched our favorite movie and spent the whole day together outside. I think we must have eaten at least four bags of popcorn that day. That was your favorite snack. And this day, I regret every single part of the worst day of my life. I can't believe we're graduating this year. I know, I honestly can't wait for graduation now. I know, we have so much to look forward to. Prom, senior trip, graduation. I know, it's gonna be so much fun. I just can't believe, like, it's already coming up. Like, we're gonna be away from each other. I know, college is gonna be sad, people will be away, but you'll visit me all the time. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, you got a text. Who's it from? Um, it says Nate. Oh my god, me and Nate have been fighting all day. Oh my god, really? Yeah, let me see. No, I'll read it. No, don't read it. I can just look at it. Well, no, you're driving. Let me just read it for you. No, don't read it. I don't want you to. No, you're driving, Haley. No, let me just see my phone. I don't want you to look at it. I don't understand. Like, what did I ever do? Like, why can't I just... You just read? don't help anything ever. You always make everything worse, and honestly, you kind of are a bad friend when it comes to helping me with my relationship. Okay, whatever, Haley. Sorry. Let me see my phone. No. Haley! Uh... You were my best friend, Erica, and now I live every single day of my life regretting what I did to you. I should have just listened. I hate that our last words to each other was fighting over a stupid phone. I wish our last words could have been I love you and I will never forget you. Cause I won't and I never will.
Good morning. I'm probably gonna go see Eric today. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. You know I'm leaving tonight, right? I don't care. No good morning. What are you talking about? I thought you were supposed to leave last night. Yeah, I did. Is this because of Eric? Well, you can't be mad. It's my life. I miss you a lot. Me, right? Aren't you? You're here to see me. You haven't been taking your meds, have you? Just the meds make you go away, and and I don't like seeing you. It's just, I'm sorry. I'm not real. Don't say that. Please don't say that. You need to let me go. You're a part of me, and I just can't lose you again. I can't. The accident was over two years ago. I just I can't keep losing you, Eric. Juliet. All right, welcome back. We hope you enjoyed seeing some of our favorite middle and high school entries from this year's film challenge. Now it's time for us to move on to the awards portion of the day. Um, we're going to be mailing the awards, by the way, uh, to you guys. Um, so, uh, yeah. So if you hear your name called, we'll have your information and we'll get that out very, very soon. Um, remember, if you win, if you hear your name announced, uh, and you see your name on the screen and your film plays, you want to hop on that Google Meet. Um, our producer will talk to you for a second, and you'll get ready to say a, uh, a few words. But get that link ready to go in case your name's announced, because you're only going to have the time from when your name's announced and 30 seconds of your film plays at most to get on that Google Meet to chat with us. There you go. All right, listen, a solid score and sound effects can add to the atmosphere of a film. The award for best sound design goes to... Too Close to Home, Howell High School, edited by Julia Solomon. Let's check out that clip. Keep your damn mouth shut, you hear me? Looks like we have some of the people from that film that popped into our Google Meet. So go ahead, let's let's take a look. So t tell me, guys, how did it go? Anyone you want to thank? What did you say? Whoever, Whoever wants, wants to go, to go first. first. There's a bunch of you on, you the, on screen the screen at once. At once. It, it seems like, like this is the whole producing team for this, for this movie, movie, I'm guessing, guessing right? right? Yeah. Um, thank you so much for this award. It was so much fun. 
uh, working on this project. Uh, Julia, do you want to say something? <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. We had a great learning experience with the whole thing. Thank you, Mr. Knapp, Mr. Turn. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. awesome. Anyone else? I would also like to thank our intern interns because they did help a lot with helping us out with audio and everything like that, visuals, everything. Like that. Aren't interns Aren't the best? best? In interns the best because they do so much work and you don't have to pay them. It's like the best job there is to have somebody do for you. <laughs> Anyone else want to chime in? All right. All right. Well, listen, congratulations, congratulations again. again. Congratulations, Congratulations, guys. guys. Thank, you, th thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, moving on. Acting can make or break a film. It's so true. It can also take a mediocre film and turn it into something truly memorable. The award for Best Actress goes to uh, Gabriel Eckert from Raritan High School, starring in Daily Dose of You. Let's check out that clip. All right, and we have Gabriel and team on the Google Meet right now. Anything you guys would like to say? It was... All right, and we have Gabriel and team on the Google Meet right now. <laughs> you, you, it you was too. a lot of fun to film. Um, I don't really know. This is like the first time that I've ever acted in something that like we've done. I'm usually behind the camera editing, so. They did a great this job. They did a great really job. Really big surprise. <laughs> it's always good popping in front of the camera for a little bit, isn't it? Sometimes just to get yeah. experience on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys, Nick or Nick, are there two Nicks at the same time? <laughs> Nick, you guys have something to say? They must be great. Uh, yeah, I've worked with Gabby a few times, and she's just amazing. Honestly, I just want to give props to her. I mean, this whole this whole thing was pretty much her idea. So the fact that she was she went in there and, and like acted so well, I'm you know really proud, really proud. Great job. Nick, number two, would you like to chime in? <laughs> uh, yeah, real quick that it was really fun to create and Stephen can't be here with us right now, but he definitely uh, worked hard to get this done on time. Awesome, awesome. Congratulations again, guys. You did a great job. Thank you so much. All right, moving on. And now the award with actress, next is actor. So the award for best actor goes to Anthony Riolo from Howell Township High School, starring in Subliminal. Let's take Can't you tell? I'm you. What do you want? Oh, it's nothing, just... How's your brother doing? Why would you say that? We really drove him to the edge. Just pill after pill. <laughs> he must have had a blast. Oh, are you upset? But it's our fault, isn't it? No, it's not. If you only answered his phone call, you could have stopped him. So we're going to All right, All right. Uh, we're back live. We got some of the members of the team from the film. Anthony, unfortunately, couldn't join us today, but I'd love for you guys to say a few things. Yeah, so we just wanted to thank him uh, because we actually got uh, him uh, we're on back live. We got some of the members of the team notice. from the film. Anthony, you might want to mute your YouTube, uh, mute your YouTube channel in the background. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to thank him because he came, we asked him like the day before to help us out because um, we were a little unprepared with that, but then he just, you know, he really did such a great job with helping us out. And Savannah who wrote the script did an awesome job 
with uh, giving him really awesome lines. And yeah, we just are uh, very grateful. Yeah, the script was phenomenal. Good job, Savannah. Sure. Thank you so much. I also want to thank uh, Mr. Knapp, the one who produced the film. He definitely helped me out and taught me how to write even better. Awesome. And we actually, it looks like Anthony just joined. Anthony, we were just talking all about you. So um, anything you'd like to say? <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> you didn't prepare a full speech or anything? Looks like we interrupted a gaming session, session you know? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone, Anyone you'd like sorry. to thank, Anthony? I'd like to thank Jess and Rudy for giving me this opportunity to um, perform for, the, for, for their video. Do you do, uh, do, you do acting? acting? Are you in drama club or anything at school? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm in, I'm in FPAC for acting. Yeah. That, make, that, makes, that makes sense. That makes sense. You did a phenomenal job. Great job. Thank you so Rudy, much. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy would you like to chime in with anything? Uh, I just think we had a great crew overall. We knocked out the filming really quickly. All the production went nicely. Um, Anthony, with the clutch, quick responses, we just had every role covered properly. And I just can't thank my crew enough and Nap for helping producing. And yeah, thank you guys. Awesome. Congratulations, Congratulations again, again, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Utilizing your prop in a creative way is a great way to catch the judge's eye. This year's award for best use of prop goes to Lost Connection from Bridgewater Raritan High School, directed by Peter De Prospero and Christopher Zhu. Take a look. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. We got a couple members from the team here. Hey guys, how you doing today? Make sure you mute your YouTube if you have it in a different, a different tab. tab. By the way, the last couple people didn't do that. Uh, what do you guys have to say? Oh man, we did. We did it, guys. Good job. Uh, I'm I'm really happy to really be a part of this production. Everyone of us working together and um, is really making this thing come to light. Uh, yeah, it's a lot to say. Uh, it's been a while on the script, and just with the four-hour production time, we really all worked together and able to get this out. I'm proud of this team. Uh, definitely, uh, I don't know where Chris is, but Chris, you didn't you're the know man. Running. Uh, Mr. DeVito, thanks for your tutelage. You did it, guys. Did, did you say four-hour production? Did you say four-hour production time? Uh, yes, with, um, <laughs> well, only four with, hours. With filming, yeah. You know you had five hours, right? Four hours. Yes, yeah, yes, we had five days, but we probably spent uh, a little too long on pre-production. <laughs> well, it came out great. I came out great. Any, uh, either of you guys want to say anything? Um, I think I, it was really a fun prop to work with, especially the router. Um, we spent a day and a half trying to find a router, someone's router that we could just break. And yeah, it was it was fun to really smash up. <laughs> I bet yeah, I have about durable as, as well. I have about 10 of them at home and I'd, be, I'd want to smash on a regular basis, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. Uh, would you like to chime in with anything? No? All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. Congratulations again. That was, that was awesome. We loved it. We had a great time watching the film. Have a good day, guys. That was a good film. I like that. Me too. Uh, science fiction films. Love them. My favorite. So I was so glad to see quite a few films embracing that genre. However, one film did shine above the rest. So the award for best visual effects goes to Lucia Asenza with Connection from Howell High School with visual effects. Connection established. It worked. All right, so we have, uh, we have, are you the director too, right? The director, did visual effects, he did all of that, right? Right? Yeah, I helped out with the directing, yeah. Helped but, out with the direct um, directing? It was, yeah, it was very, yeah. What did you design the visual effects in? 
Uh, I use After Effects uh, primarily. Uh, I've been using it for a long time now, so uh, it was something I was very familiar with, which was good for the situation. So. Awesome. Yeah, they looked, looked amazing. amazing. Natalia? Natalia, 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 right? Am I saying your name right? Oh, oh, did we, did we, lose, we, lose, we lost her. We lost her. She hit the wrong <laughs> button. And hopefully, hopefully she, she comes right back. back. <laughs> uh, uh, Rhett, Rhett, how do you say, you say your name? Why oh, you just call me Blake? Blake, Blake well, that's much easier, easier to say, to say than that, that, that name. I didn't mean to leave. Oh, that's what I figured you hit the wrong button. I do it all the time with my class. Yeah, I meant to unmute. But I would have to say. Our team did a really great job in which she is absolutely amazing at special effects. I, she's just so great. She is the best I've ever seen. I love her so much. She's amazing. Oh, 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 oh my God. God. You guys can, can hug. No, 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 hug Natalia, here's a relevant. Virtual hug. Virtual hug. Virtual hug. Here's a relevant question. Nah. For you. Did you design the script around the capabilities for visual effects? Like you were trying to find a way to work them into the story or did the story come first? Well, so Blake and I wrote the script and while we were doing that, we kind of had in mind like, okay, it's going to be about space. So we might want to, you know, leave some room for some like cool special effects. So that's kind of what we had in mind while writing it. I loved it. As a big science fiction fan, I really did enjoy the film. You guys did yeah. a great job. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I mean, literally Natalia, like despite the situation that she was in while we were filming, like she came in clutch. Uh, Blake had some troubles, but she did an amazing job and pulled through on the acting. Noah did great with the editing. Uh, Lacey came in and helped direct it and shot and all that stuff. It was, yeah, really, really great group to work with. I love all you guys. Awesome. Such a great team. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Balake, do you have anything to add? You know that's it. <laughs> Everyone does that. Um, I know, I bet. It's so good. Blake, what do you got to say? I would like to thank my team, and I'd like to thank Nap. Um, you guys are amazing. Of course, Lucia, you're so talented. Um, and so is everyone else on this team. We had some issues that we were able to work <laughs> through, and we got it done. And I love how our ideas were able to be put on the screen the way we wanted it. So thank you, and I love the experience. Awesome. Issues are great to come across because you overcome them and you learn something where hopefully next time you don't run into the same thing. So congratulations, guys. You did a fantastic job. We loved it. We loved everything about your movie, too. The script writing was great, special effects, the lighting, the cinematography. Everything was really solid. So great job, guys. Congratulations. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys brought up a great point out the teamwork is. Folks, everybody knows that it's teamwork that makes the dream work. It's oh, so true. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, it really is. That's just true. It's, it's true. It's a, it is true. It's a family motto at my house. Yeah. Nobles is divide and conquer, but that's okay. <laughs> Listen. Uh, another way to catch and hold the eye and interest your audience is through good editing. And the award for best editing goes to Crystal Yearis for editing Roaming from Clearview Regional High School. Let's check out the clip. Um, so we have a couple of the members of the team. Crystal, I was just told, is taking an AP test, which is really fun and exciting. Um, so she's not able to be here, unfortunately. But we had a couple of the team members here. Hey, guys. Hey guys how, are how are you? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, so what do you guys have to say? say? Um, just like thank you. Like, Crystal's been amazing. She always pulls through with all her projects we do. I really wish she could like be here to like really have like be you know that she wants, but. It was very yeah. fun, and our team really worked hard on it. Uh, what did you guys do on the film? Um, I was I acted in it, and I did some of the writing and stuff for it, and helped out behind the scenes. Awesome. I, I acted with the mask on. It's a little. <laughs> I can't tell that that's you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's me. 
I uh, I helped with some of the um, photography, and I also helped uh, with some of the graphics in it. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I mean, that was super cool. Yeah, like we liked a lot about this film, including the cinematography. We thought you guys did a really nice job with the cinematography. Uh, so I think like all around, it was uh, it was pretty solid film. So congratulations to the, your team, and of course to Crystal, your editor. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Welcome. All right, well, the director's responsible for the feel of a film. It's the cinematographer who's responsible for its look. The award for best cinematography goes to Tyler Izzo, Molly Patton, and Jaden Lanfranc for filming Bad Connection from Rumson Fairhaven Regional High School. Take a look. I need to take your car. We got the team from Rumson Fairhaven, right? Was it Rumson Fairhaven? Yeah. Yes. Rumson Fairhaven. So, uh, thank you so much for this award. That I mean, this is awesome. Uh, Molly and Jaden were really like the stars of this thing, and uh, had some great performances. We got almost everything like first take, so it made the cinematography like really easy. Uh, special thanks to Miss Grumbach and Miss Molshagen for getting us involved in this thing in the first place. Molly, do you want to add anything? I don't know. I think that it's cool that we won the award and stuff, and you did a good job editing. All did, of it. Did, did, did awesome, awesome job editing. We, we love it. The, the, the shots were, were, what, did what did you guys shoot it on? We were debating over here. We shot it on an iPhone. I thought so, because some of those shots were impossible on other things, like the zoom out shot that you did and driving over with the car. Like a lot of shots you did seemed um, like, like you probably did it on an iPhone, but the quality was amazing. It was unbelievable. How yeah, good I was, I was so shocked. I mean, you could shoot like so many things on your iPhone and I, crazy. like, don't go spend like 800 bucks on a camera until you've really like mastered the, the iPhone. Yeah, hundred percent. We say that to our students all the time. I hundred percent agree. It's crazy, but what you can do with an iPhone now would cost, you know, $20,000 10 years ago for a camera. So kudos to using that it was a great use of the resource. Um, you guys did a fantastic job. We, we love the movie. We love the angles, the shots that you did, the editing. Everything was really, really stellar. So great job, guys, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. You're welcome. All right. Listen, I'm a big fan of script writing. It's one of my favorite things to do and when it comes to the production process. In uh, my years working in professional film, I've probably read, I don't know, a thousand scripts or so. Um, and they all have one thing in common. All of the good uh, ones, at least, have one thing in common. Uh, black ink? Black ink, printed on white paper. Um, but they all have a story that people can relate to. That's a key factor. Um, so we took that in consideration when we awarded this year's uh, prize. So this year's award for best screenplay goes to Pancakes for Dinner from Rowden High School, written by Elizabeth Conzi and Christopher Rotundo. Take a look. Red is the longest wavelength of visible light. It's love and war, the world's two biggest crimes. Usually it implies danger, but with her it's something else. Stealing the red Skittles from the bag because they're her favorite and me letting it slide. The pasta sauce from my favorite restaurant and the cherry on top of our sundaes. Orange lights the warmest there is. It gives the body the sensation of heat. The color not of the fire, but the flame. But to me, it's not the flame or fruit. It's the color of her favorite sweater she would always wear when we drank coffee and the cinnamon on our cupcakes after we finished baking. Green has the wavelength of 560 nanometers, fresh and pure. Like her soccer jersey when she played, or <laughs> tried to play that is, and uh, the Christmas tree we put in our first apartment. Yellow has a wavelength of 570 nanometers. It's the main source of serotonin to the brain. Happiness. Could not describe her and I more. All right, I love that film. That was one of my favorites for sure. I mean, we have some members of the team here, guys. Why don't you introduce yourselves and uh, say, say a few things. I'm, Thomas Singer. Right. Um, 
<laughs> so how about uh, Thomas, you go first. You started talking first, so you go first. <laughs> okay. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Liz isn't able to join us. She's she's working right now, but this is a really good idea. She's had this since like I think either eighth grade freshman year. She's a junior now, mm -hmm. and she's just been waiting a long time to use this, and we finally got the opportunity to use it. So, um, very happy. Like she had this whole idea for like the colors thing. She had, she and uh, she she wrote with it really good. It turned out really. I'm very happy with with all the work um, that she put in for the script, and then how the rest of the group worked together nearly perfectly to get this all together. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Awesome, awesome. I love your poster, by the way. I'm a big fan of rabbits. Christopher, do you want to chime right. in with anything? Yeah, um, I'm currently driving to track, which is funny. Um, and talking on the and, phone, you stopped. Okay, I was getting concerned there for a second. <laughs> Wait, are right. you stopped? You better be stopped. There yeah, I'm, I'm stopped. I'm stopped. No worries. No worries. <laughs> okay, so, just checking. Um, I, I pulled over for this. Um, honestly, man, this is crazy. Like, this isn't really something that I expected uh, going into, like, TV this year. So... Uh, it's been so fun working with this group of this group of people, and um, I couldn't thank anybody more than Liz Conti, honestly. Me and her kind of pulled the strings together, and everybody else came up and and really stepped up to uh, to what we to what Liz wanted to do. And uh, couldn't thank anybody more than that. Thanks, awesome. guys. Awesome, Anthony Harrison. You guys have something to chime in with? Yeah, um, I just want to say Liz again. She's incredible with uh, the story and the script. She's had this thing since eighth grade, and once we found out what groups we were in. Like moments after we're told who's in who's in the group, she started scheduling. She started planning, and we all we shot at mo most principal shooting was done in one day. Like we were driving all around town, not even town, like across towns for this, just to shoot all in one day for this amazing story and amazing script. She's put a lot into it, and we spent a lot of hours. A lot of some people pulled all, all nighters for this. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's part of the fun. Sleep, part sleep of the it, yeah. So props to Liz for this. Awesome. Anthony, you want to chime in with anything? Oh, is he frozen? Ah, he's frozen. Well, I'll have hey, to. Uh, congratulations to all yeah, of you guys. Yeah, it was a great script. Loved it. Indeed. Thank you, guys. Congratulations again. I want to remind young directors, of course, is how important it is to direct young actors. As a director, that's the job. To get the performance you want out of the actors you have to work with. This year's award for Best Director goes to... Gabrielle Eckert from Raritan High School, directing Daily Dose of You. Congratulations. Let's check out the clip. So we took a look at the clip of that one earlier, so we're going to uh, skip it. But um, we have uh, yeah, people from the team on again. You guys want to say anything else? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, best director, best director right here. Oh my god, my heart is beating so fast. I literally just, I screamed when, it, when, I, when my name was announced. This is so cool. Oh my god. I can't, I don't even know what to say. Well, I just, yeah, congrats. It's, it's so, you know, and, and most people that are do what we do know how much work goes into producing some of these things and directing one of these projects. Um, and it's, it was, we watched this one and we just got little goosebumps on our arms. We loved it. We thought it was fantastic. So great, great, great direction. Um, you know, we're big fans. We really are. Hopefully we'll see your name uh, at the Oscars someday under direct work. <laughs> Thank you so much. I also want to say, uh, Stephen couldn't make it right now, but Stephen was uh, one of our cinematographers and he did so well with understanding what I meant with the shots and just kind of adapting to the idea. It was, he was absolutely amazing. And so is the rest of my group. They, they're the reason that I could carry this through. So. Amazing, amazing. Well, thank you guys so much. Any guys want to chime in with anything else? No, all right, guys, congratulations again. Have a fantastic day, guys. Thank you so much. <sighs> they were fun, I like that group. They were fun. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I like fun. I mean, speaking of fun, I was at a wedding last week uh, and I had to deliver a, I had to deliver a best man speech. I remember yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I thought I'd start it out with a joke. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Well, I think I heard it. I think they definitely want to hear okay, it. Okay, okay, here it is. <laughs> so it kind of went like this, okay? So uh, I've been at this wedding all day, and just, it sure has me emotional. I mean, I just saw the wedding cake, and wow, it, uh, it brought me to tears. Uh, yeah, um, I'm sorry, tears. really, uh, for me. So the award for best comedic film, which is better than that comedic film, goes to The Harrowing Day from Clearview Regional High School, directed by Brandon Mendoza. 
finally got out of school. Hey, 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 my friend, she's in the hospital. Can you please give me a ride there? Uh, nah, bro. Dude, please, dude. I gotta go home and sleep. I'm sorry. <laughs> my friend, she's in the hospital. Can you please give me a ride? Yeah. It's urgent, but yeah. <laughs> please. I had to run to the hospital. Found out. What? And I love her more than you. All right. Our right. congratulations, guys. We got the team here on the Google Meet. <laughs> you guys, you guys when, you, when first, you first popped on, you were way more excited than you just were right there. I want you to give me that excitement again. We've been waiting all day. All You've been day. waiting all day? So yeah. who do you guys want to thank? Um, who's you can go? I don't know. Mark Mazzacchio. He's our media teacher. Yeah, our media teacher. Um, I guess just like the whole group. Yeah, man. whole group, like putting a lot of effort. You guys run into any challenges uh, shooting this? Uh, well, it was hard to like schedule everything because we filmed it during school. Oh, that really? You guys shot it all during the day during school? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, it. that's definitely tough. That definitely makes it more challenging for sure. Um, anything else you guys want to say? Um, oh, can we shout out our YouTube account? Or Absolutely. Go for it. All right, everyone, Sloppy Games on YouTube. Subscribe to Sloppy yeah. Games on YouTube. Yeah. And shout out that wedding speech. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't give him a big head. Please don't give him a big head. Congratulations again, guys. The film was right. amazing. We loved it. We loved it. We'll see you later. All right, those guys were fun. Great, were great fun. video. Were Such fun. a fun one. I really did enjoy that one. Yeah, me too. All right, let's move on here. You're probably expecting me to come up with some creative way to get in the best drama, right? I don't know, Noble. You know, uh, you just don't understand. I, I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bum. You are a terrible actor. <laughs> the, uh, the award for best dramatic film goes to Subliminal from Howell High School, directed by Jess Galaro. Take a look. No matter what you want to believe, I'm a part of you and will always be. You can't run away anymore. And after all, we are connected. I love that film. I really did. That like, was, it was a solid film. Uh, I enjoyed it. I'm so glad they were able to join us here in our Again, community. again. Hi, guys. How are you again? <laughs> you guys want to chime in? Anything, Anything else to add from the uh, speech before? Uh, yeah, sorry. I was muting the YouTube, so I didn't do that again. Um, I, I honestly, like, I wasn't even, like, going to consider this for, like, a drama thing, but, like, it's, it means a lot that it, you know, that it won. Um, I've always wanted to do that mirror thing for a film competition because that's been like one of my ideas in like some of my like independent films that I've done. So like for that to, you know, go places is, is pretty cool. Um, and I just wanted to thank my team because everyone did an awesome job. I'm sorry, people are blowing up my uh, messages. <laughs> it's okay, you deserve it. I just, uh, and thank you to Nap for, you know, helping us out and entering us into this competition. Um, yeah, that's. So how, not to reveal the magic, but how did you do the mirror shot? Was it a stunt double or did you do it in post? No, so um, we set up a tripod and then we had Anthony sit in the exact same spot for about two and a half hours straight. And he did all of his lines for the one side and then he did all of his lines for the other side. That way, when you see him in the mirror, he looks like it doesn't look like, you know, it looks like a different person. Um, yep. And uh, editing it in post was, it was fun. I enjoyed editing it, but yeah, so. Awesome, awesome. Congratulations, yeah, it came out great. We, yeah. uh, it was a great effect and it worked really, really well. So congratulations, great. Savannah, do you want to chime in with anything? I just feel so honored winning this award because this is like one of my favorite genres to write in. So it's just amazing to see how my hard work and effort just came through. It was amazing. Thank you so much. It came through a lot. Congratulations again, guys.
Thank you so much. Another great film. What a fun day it's been. Well, listen, it's time for our last award. That is best overall film. I really, really, really like this one. Yeah, me, me too. I was a super, super fan of this one. Um, before we announce it, though, we'd like to uh, thank you again for participating in this year's New Jersey High School Film Challenge. I know things were a little bit crazy for everyone, but and, and we were a little worried when we first scheduled it. We were concerned how many schools are going to sign up. Are we going to get participation? Are kids burnt out? And the answer is yes, you're burnt out. But you still submitted. We got a lot of entries, and we had a great time doing it this year. And, and honestly, standing here right now is one of my highlights, I think, of the entire year, and I'm not even exaggerating. Um, just, you know, the feeling seeing everyone come together and work hard on a project is just uh, is heartwarming. And I think it was, it was great to see everyone back in action here. Yeah, I think for sure this, one of the things this uh, pandemic has taught us is how important uh, a passion is for your whatever your craft is and to hang in there and, and keep doing the work. Indeed, okay. indeed. Yeah. And we'll be back next year, uh, bigger and better. So hopefully we'll have things back to, uh, to normal and uh, have you folks out in person next year. Yep, hopefully we'll you know, get everyone there, have the music playing, have the lights going, and uh, we could all eat pizza together again. Okay. All right, now the award for best overall film. Drum roll free, please. <laughs> the award goes to Pancakes for Dinner, directed by Raritan High School and directed by Elizabeth Conzi and Christopher Rotundo. Let's check it out. Hot Stop Boy, what are you doing here alone? Well, first, my name is Jackson, and um, I had to come and take up your word from the bus stop and order the uh, pancakes for dinner. I'm excited, but you need to get it with a milkshake. It literally goes hand in hand. Well, then in that case, uh, make it two. Come here with me. Oh, brother. Here you go. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. My life before her was in black and white, but now I can see it all. Oh, all because of some pancakes for dinner. I love that film. I, I love you know that what? film. Here's what I loved about this film. First of all, you guys did such a nice job on this. The writing, the acting, the directing. What, what I came away with from the film was I really cared about your characters. And it came across on screen. And remember, as a production team and as a director and a writer, when you can make your audience feel something, you have done something. And that's what you did for your audience. I loved it. You know, I feel, I feel like I'm going through a bit of inception here because I got the team on Zoom, but then I have someone else on a FaceTime on the Zoom. It, this is, this is mind-blowing right here. Who, who do we have joining us this time? Group, but this is Liz, the director of the film. Hi, Liz, the director. How you doing, Liz? We didn't get to hear from you before. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm at work. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could, yeah, it looks like you're in a, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you got to hop on. Anything you'd like to say about the film or thank anyone? Um, yeah, I want to thank Miss Herrick and Miss Robinson. They always push us to do our best. My parents for dealing with our craziness. My group, they pulled together so much. And the biggest thank you to my co-director, Chris Rotundo. I worked 39 hours during that five days, and I couldn't do without him near my side. And it's his birthday today. And my group killed it, and everyone's videos are so good. And just thank you guys for holding this. And thank you for FaceTiming me. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Great job with the Inception video thing. Any guys else want to chime in with something you didn't get a chance to say before? Uh, I just want to say, yeah, it, it, it was a lot of fun. And I think maybe now there's no better way to celebrate by us getting pancakes for dinner. I 100% agree. Mr. Frode and I are actually just talking that pancakes are good any time of day or night. True. So uh, I think I'm going to have to leave here when we're done in a minute pancakes and, and get some for sure. But uh, congratulations. The, Anyone else want to chime in? And especially the pancakes at New Mammoth Diner. Shout out to them. They were great for letting us film. We were like, hey, we're a high school gr uh, film group. Can we film in your restaurant? And they said yes. That is the, one of the most challenging things. One of the most challenging things is getting permission to shoot in some locations. Good shout so. out. Good shout well, out. Good yeah. shout out. Yeah, for sure. They're going to love that. Um, congratulations again, guys. Anthony, I think you froze up before, didn't you? You didn't get to say anything. Would you like to chime in? Yeah, it started lagging before. <laughs> no worries. Hey, like yeah. yeah, the success of the project just goes to Liz and Chris, really. Their hard work just made our jobs easy. It went so smooth. I don't know how, but <laughs> you know, their right. hard work. It just made it so easy, so fun, and it came out really good, and I'm happy for that. I agree. It came out fantastic. We love it, guys. Congratulations again, and, and have a fantastic weekend, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.
All right. Well, that about does it for us here. We want to thank you folks for watching at home. Yep. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next year back at Jackson Liberty High School um, for another uh, exciting event. So thank you guys for joining us. Have a fantastic weekend and congratulations again to all of the winners. Hey, and a big shout out to our own crew here at JTV. Oh, yeah. Yep. We have the full crew running in master control and camera guys out here. Thank you guys for all staying and working so hard behind the scenes. Thank you to our judges and our workshop speakers who uh, have been reviewing these films for, you know, a week and a half now nonstop giving us feedback and we're going to send the feedback to everyone uh, after this is over probably next week to give you guys you know some uh, some feedback on make your craft better in the future not that it wasn't great yeah. but it always make it better so For sure thank you again guys so much have a great night so long so long that went way better than I thought it was going <laughs> then the live one. <laughs> yeah, I got so used to being virtual now, I guess. That was, yeah, that was really <laughs> And everyone came on. I